Welcome back to another video everyone. So about 10 minutes ago we just got some random Crash 4 news came completely out of nowhere. Definitely didn't expect this but we've got a few things to talk about. So the first thing that will probably excite you guys the most. If you pre-ordered the game digitally you can actually play a Crash 4 demo. I believe it's the same demo that the Crash content creators and the gaming blogs and whatever got to play about a month ago. You get to play two levels, Snow Way Out and Dino Dash. Me personally I haven't bought the game digitally because I'm one of those people who likes everything physical so I'm not gonna be playing it again but if you want to hear my thoughts and feelings about it you can watch the video that I did about a month ago I'll leave it down below now we also just got a lot of new information about a new playable character in Crash 4 I can't remember if this was leaked or rumored but I've definitely been hearing discussion about this Torna not only got confirmed as a playable character in Crash 4 but we also got some gameplay to see what our levels look like as well I'll leave the link to this article on the PlayStation blog down below uh, if you want to read the whole thing early on in Crash Bandicoot 4 Crash and Coco cross paths with a Torna from what we at Toys for Bob have been calling the Tornaverse, an alternate dimension where she is the hero in her own story. This gave us the opportunity to rethink Torna and establish a clear new voice for her in Crash 4. Here's a picture of some early concept designs that they attached. To make Tornaverse Torna a fully fleshed out character, we had to answer some core questions about her. How is this Torna different from the one that we already know? What happened to her that made her this way? What are her key personality traits? What does she sound like? If Torna is the hero of her own universe, how would she respond to different situations? The answer to these questions and many more helped us discover a strong and dynamic and multi-dimensional, literally, version of Torna that's fierce and aspirational. What's even more exciting is that in Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, you'll actually be able to swing in action as this new Torna. Joining Neo Cortex and Dingo Dial as a playable character, Torna has her own unique playstyle and an exciting new look as well. Here's her new design everyone, and you know what a new design means, complaining in the fanbase. As an alternate universe character, we had a tremendous amount of creative freedom to re-envision Torna. This Torna is an experienced adventurer, a daring, driven, and confident hero. She needed to exude strength and dexterity, so we looked towards powerful, athletic bodies as inspiration for her physique. She's a lone wolf who likes to think that she doesn't need anyone's help, and we wanted that to come across in all aspects of her look, from her outfit to her range of expressions. So I'm really interested to see how big of a role she plays in the story in this whole Tornaverse thing. But of course she also has a new playstyle just like Dingo Dial and Neo Cortex. Equipped with a versatile hookshot ability that allows her to quickly traverse levels and attack enemies and break crates from afar, Torna feels as powerful and exciting as she looks. She also has a devastating ground pound attack, spin kicks and can reach new heights with her acrobatic wall jump. Playing as Torna feels fast, fluid and fresh, while still retaining the precision and intensity that makes Crash Bandicoot such a unique platforming experience. As game developers, we're passionate about telling stories and creating characters that delight and inspire. We seek to promote and expand upon the representation of female characters in games and think that this new Torna is a complex and aspirational hero that all players will fall in love with. Also, there was a 14 minute video uploaded to the PlayStation channel called Torna Gameplay Reveal. I'll leave this down below as well, but here's like the little trailer thing that came out. Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like die or something what no nope no but no definitely not so how are things in your dimension <clears throat> the usual a bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination huh so uh what you're collecting crystals mm -mm. gems masks Ooh, fun well good luck with that <gasps> wait you're not coming sorry i fly solo but I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. Also, here's a little bit of information about the demo. So it says, if you pre-order the game from the PlayStation Store, you get access to the Crash 4 demo available September 16th. 
So I'm not entirely sure whether or not this is a PlayStation thing only. It might be because when they gave me the demo about a month ago, it was only a PlayStation demo, even though the game will be coming out on the Xbox, of course. So I'm not sure if they've changed that and it is just a PlayStation demo. It could be since even though Crash isn't a PlayStation exclusive, they usually do get exclusive things in the games. It says you get to play Snow Way Out and Dino Dash and you also get to play the alternate version of Snow Way Out as Dr. Neo Cortex. But yeah, now let's take a look at some Torna gameplay. Play. I'm not going to play the whole 12 minute clip where they commentate over it, but you can see Torna in action in the game. You can see a grand pound move. Lou does mention that this will be the last playable character, so it will be Torna, Cortex, and Dingo Dial. Obviously, you're going to be able to play as Crash, and you will be able to switch to Coco as well in those levels, so five playable characters in total. One thing to point out is that that yellow circle underneath the character is still there. Uh, which is interesting because I believe that wasn't there in one of the previous reveals. There's been quite a few over the past month or two. So it looks like that will be something that you're able to toggle on and off, which is good. Because I know some people liked that because it gives you more precision when jumping and it makes it feel fair when you don't land a jump. But also other people felt like it was distracting and made it a bit too easy. So it's good to see that that's probably an option. Yeah, that was some unexpected but welcome Crash 4 news. And we're less than a month away now until we can actually play the full game. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all in my next video.